If we want to move something to long term memory, there are four main drivers. If you want long term memories, you have to bring emotion into the mix. Like that's like the magic ingredient. Your brain says if this guy doesn't care, why should I help him to remember it? <laughs> if we want to move something to long term memory, there are four main drivers that we need to access, right? Four main neuro drivers of long term memory. The first is attention. If you are not giving anyone attention, or the person talking to you, or the book you are reading, or whatever, there is no chance of learning happening. That's why I've been really harping on phone, phone, phone. Because if you are not listening to me and giving me my, your attention, there is no chance that I can get through. Second one is generation, which is creating own connections to new and presented ideas. Generate knowledge and answers, which is what comes from this question. What was most useful to you creates generation, which is the guys thinking now and creating those connections. Ah, this is okay. This is what I think I should do. This was what was useful for me. This is how I'm going to use it. The third thing, if you want long term memories, you have to bring emotion into the mix. Like that's like the magic ingredient. E. Emotion. Why do I care? Essentially, emotion means that. Why do I care? Because if you don't care, your brain says, if this guy doesn't care, why should I help him to remember it? <laughs> There's no point. Does that make sense to you? If you don't care, why should you remember? Correct? Right? Why should the brain do anything to help us remember? We don't care. The brain says, you don't care, I also don't care. Let's forget it. <laughs> and fair enough. <laughs> and spacing is space repetition. So if you want long term learning, there has to be space repetition. Have you ever been in a situation, you went for a class on a Monday, you learned everything in that class. Lecture asked you, did you understand? Yes, I understood. Ask questions, you answered all the questions. You close your book, don't open it again till next Monday. <laughs> now come back to the same classroom and lecture asked, what did we do last Monday? Not a soul remembers. That's because short term memory has degenerated, right? Because there's something called the forgetting curve. The forgetting curve, Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve, we forget really, really fast. Within 24 hours, we have forgotten 80% of what we learned. Sharp decline. That is why I'm asking you to take notes and have your mind map. If you refresh your mind, you look at this mind map tomorrow, you're going to slow this forgetting curve. Now, if you look at your mind map, it's up again there. If you actually think about what we learned, how you can apply, how you can use it, that's emotion. That's showing you care, which is then going to strengthen those neural connections. It's all about neural connections, right? The more you do something over and over again, the connections between your neurons get stronger. That's memory.